So the secret layer Equinox Super Drop has been out for three days. Some drops have sold out, some drops are still on the market. And I really do think you'll be shocked to see which ones have sold and which ones are still there. Stick around, we're gonna go through all of them and I'm gonna share a bit of my opinion on it. Hey, it's Alex, I'm on the floor. You might be asking yourself, hey, why the hell are you down there? Well, it's because I'm floored that this set didn't sell out. And it is the Fallout Vault Boy drop. Now this one was the one that had the Trinisphere, the Grand Arbiter, uh, the uh, Sphere of Resistance and the Winter Orb, that's it. And um, I gotta be honest with you, I'm asking myself, where are all these Twitter haters that were going in those comments saying, oh, all people are just gonna gamble, people are gonna FOMO into this, oh, the scalpers are gonna buy it all up. Well, where, where are they? They're not here. They're not here. Piano Alex, they over there? Hmm? Hell no, they're not. And that's my point. It, it, whenever people hop on Twitter, they, they immediately think of the worst case scenario for a set. And to be perfectly honest with you, yeah, Wizards, is, Wizards was going to make that a chase card. They knew they were going to get some people that were going to kind of FOMO into it. Now, I'm not going to say that's, that's correct on their part to do it. I'm not saying it's a great thing, but they're here to make money. And at the end of the day, this was a strategy that they thought would work for them. And I think for the most part, it kind of did, at least with the, um, you know, with the major bundles and everything like that selling, uh, selling out. And this one didn't. And I really think this one didn't sell out because the players don't want to play with stacks. Um, this game is heavily focused in Commander because of the big influx of players playing that game. And those players despise stacks for the most part. I personally enjoy it, but that doesn't mean the majority of people do. And that's just the way it is. So this set didn't sell out because, you know, people were rejecting the lottery cards. Obviously, that sold out the other sets and, and obviously with the other cards as well. But uh, this one didn't sell out just because of the actual cards that were printed. And I think that's a pretty awesome thing because it proves that people aren't FOMOing into things. People aren't gambling on these sets. Maybe there is an outlier of people that are, don't get me wrong. But at the end of the day, people are buying these cards because they want them, right? And that's, and that's just the way it is. So whenever you see people go online saying that people are FOMOing into things, just remember that this set happened and it did not sell out. You can get a Mana Vault in these. They're still on the market three days later after everything else sold out. Think of that when you when you when something like this happens next time. You know what I mean? I just think about it. So I did want to go over the other sets that um, that didn't didn't sell out. Um, some of them shocked me even. So the diabolical dioramas. Happy for me, so I could get even more. But they did not sell out, unfortunately. I think it's an amazing set with some amazing art. Um, if you saw my other video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and also when looking at the site right now, the Phoebe Wall set actually didn't sell out either, which I thought was also a pretty beautiful set. So if you're looking for those two and the, the Vault Boy edition, they're still available. So, you know, give it a look if you're still interested. So the set that sold out first and actually shocked me more than anything else, one I didn't even talk about, was the Ravina Kai Artist Series. And if you've uh, seen what it is, I'll throw a little graphic up here. But that's a Sword of the Animist, Arcane Signet, um, Aether Vial, so that's the big one, and then a Nala Archmage uh, Ritualist. Now, I actually thought this set would not sell out at all, um, because people don't like when cards are lit that are like black, red, blue, like Anala is, um, they make it look like the other two colors. So all these cards are like white and black, um, and it, you know, kind of uh, makes it look a little strange. So... Yeah, I'm actually a little um, a little shocked and maybe even a little pleasantly surprised that this sold because it proves that people are looking for the reprints a little bit more than they value the art, at least in this drop. Um, maybe people do like the art, but obviously you look at Twitter, everything else, you see people complain all the time about, um, what was that last one? Kind of looked like tarot cards and then it had that misspelling. Um, Shoot, I can't remember it. But if I if I do remember it, I'll, I'll throw it up here. But um, there are a lot of cards that came out that kind of don't look like the you know the color that that they belong to, and it and it kind of throws people off, makes it almost not look like a magic card in some people's opinions. And maybe I do agree with some of those some of those opinions, but for the most part, I don't know. It's it's kind of intriguing to me that this one sold out first 
especially with all the heat that, um, you know, that was also spoiled, including all the fallout stuff. So yeah, it, it shocks me, but it, it shocks me in a good way. I'm glad these things sell out. You want to see magic products sell out, especially, you know, secret layers. If you don't, you know, see them sell out, they're obviously going to start taking them away. And I actually personally enjoy the secret layer, um, drops. I don't know if that's the main consensus, but, uh, I personally enjoy them. I like a look at different artworks, um, and, you know, giving other artists a voice and sometimes, yeah, they're not the greatest cards that they print them with, but overall, you know, it's, I, I think, I think it's very good when you, when you give outside voices a voice in this game, um, you might not agree with it, you might not like what they have to say, you know, but I think everything should be, you know, sort of welcome, at least from an artistic standpoint. And I think Secret Layer is a really good uh, vehicle for Wizards to do this. You know, it doesn't always make sense to do it in main sets, but it does make sense to do it here because it's kind of a blank canvas. Um, and the canvas is actually cards that everybody plays with, or maybe, or maybe not because some of the reprints are kind of, eh. but, um, but yeah, I do, I do actually really enjoy that that sold out first. It's kind of like, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it was, I, I really, it's kind of, it, it's just shocking. I really don't have words to, to describe you. You would think though, uh, with all the hype you, and all, and all the FOMO and all the gambling and all the scalpers that, uh, that Fallout would sell out first, but it didn't. This did. I personally don't enjoy the art. That's just my take. Um, but yeah, I, it did, and, and that's awesome. So I'm glad people, you know, had a chance to enjoy it and obviously enjoyed the reprints and hopefully enjoyed the art, and, and I'm just happy it sold out. Everyone, I appreciate everybody stopping by this video and coming to support me. All the amazing comments that I've been receiving, it's really been uh, something that's keeping me on this channel and keeping me motivated to keep doing uploads. So if you uh, want to subscribe, uh, please consider it. It would be a, a greatly appreciated by me and I and I like posting this content and I post daily so if you're looking for daily magic news uh, finance uh, you know just anything magic you're at the right place so I really appreciate everyone like or dislike that's perfectly fine and I'm excited to grow this channel with all of you have a great day